In today's video, we're going over five things I absolutely love about my BMW M235i. Let's get started. What's up you guys? Welcome to the video if you're new here. My name's Josh. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your boy. Today we're going over the five things I love about my M235i. And let's hop right on in. First thing I absolutely love about my F22 is the fact that these cars, it's almost, and this is just my opinion, I feel like that when they come from factory that they are half done. Simply my opinion based on the fact that just with a few aftermarket touches, these cars can really be transformed as, you know, there's a whole discussion and debate whether the M235i and the M240 are actual M cars or whatnot. We'll go with the M lights, but I think for a car like mine, I would go around saying, you know, I have a 235i, but with a few aesthetic mods, with a few performance mods, you can really bring out the M and the M235i, and I think I've done that very nicely with my specific build. And I actually just really like that the platform and the N55 engine comes from factory like that, where, okay, let's talk about the gray stock mirror caps like things like that that match the gray wheels but they don't necessarily like they don't necessarily like bring much out of the car because then all of a sudden you change the mirror cap something simple as that out for some carbon fiber mirror caps and it really brings the car to life so like things like that with like the dull plain boring look of a mirror cap a simple switch of a mirror cap to some carbon fiber caps really just like a night and day difference to really bring the car to life so i almost really like that this platform comes from factory the way it does like don't get me wrong from factory it's completely stock these cars still do look very very nice you could buy this car completely stock leave it completely stock and you're still going to get compliments from a lot of people it's still going to be one of those cars that when you're driving by people are going to be breaking their necks as they look back at your car it's a beautiful car whether it's modified or stock but my personal opinion and one of the reasons why i love this car the most is one that there's also a ton of aftermarket options but just a little bit of work can transform these cars so if you're someone like me who was two years ago i was starting out learning parts and maintenance and all this stuff on my car it's a really good platform to be able to learn certain things like how to apply a spoiler or how to install a diffuser or front lip side skirts like all these things that you can add after the fact really make it a good platform to learn how to start modifying your car but it's almost like if the car comes from the factory half done so that way you can put you know your finishing touches on it and make it look the way you want it with a nice set of wheels certain carbon fiber pieces the interior is honestly kind of dull and boring but then with a simple couple switches it really just brings the car to life and it's also just because i feel like you could buy let's say you go and you're looking at an f80 m3 like those cars obviously the s55 engine is a uh, way higher of a potential power car and it already comes from factory with a beast of an engine and all that but those cars are come from factory and they're almost like track ready cars whereas the f22 is more of just a the M light, and I definitely do think it, just my opinion again, requires some modifications to really bring it to life. But that's only that's one of the reasons why I do actually like the fact that it comes from factory the way it does. So that way it's like you have, you almost have to just like throw your touch on it and really just add a few pieces to really bring it to life. And that's what makes it, may, makes me enjoy the car that much more that I've thrown my own touches and really brought it to life through my own preference and the things I enjoy about it to really just bring out the M in the M235i. The second thing I absolutely love about this car, 100%, probably one of my favorites, easily the exhaust. So this car's current setup is the full touring AWE exhaust with the mid pipe coupled with a high flow catted down pipe and the sound as you can see 
just for the cold star is absolutely fantastic. We're also running a stage two tune by Pro Tuning Freaks, which also allows for the capability to add in the GTS startup roar, which makes the car just sound way better when it starts in higher RPMs and it just has that mean just to it. So I absolutely love the cold star and the best thing about it is my cold star isn't even as loud as a few of my neighbors, so it makes it okay that it's a little bit obnoxious, which is kind of funny but per AWE that they make the perfect exhaust note and honestly I can't argue with that. Introducing AWE Tuning's proprietary sound cancellation solution, 180 technology. An elegant concept that precisely identifies, isolates, and cancels out undesirable frequencies. As the exhaust gas enters our 180 technology equipped resonator, it passes through strategically located ports by controlling the size and location of the chamber and ports, we control when the sound waves re-enter the ports to join the free-flowing gases. By controlling the re-entry timing, we ensure that problematic tones are met with a 180 degree out-of-phase frequency. The sound produced by this formula is the perfect exotic signature note. Unlocked performance and perfect tone every time. That's 180 Technology by AWE Tuning. So per AWE, they got a very bold, very loud statement of the perfect exhaust note. And I can't, I can't complain. I mean, I can't argue with that. I think that's a very true statement. Their exhaust note is a very, very refined sound, but just like refined in just the right way, where if you want to hear the car scream and you want to enjoy a spirited drive, you know, summertime, windows down, you and everybody around you is going to hear that beautiful exhaust note. But if you want, you know, a more moderate mellow drive with the windows up and it's not too loud in the cabin it's very moderate in the cabin you can still hear it i mean it's still a loud exhaust you're still going to notice the exhaust but with the windows up in the cabin it's not obnoxious it's not annoying i previously had a muffler a muffler delete on this car which yeah it sounded great but after a while the drone in the cabin with the windows up just got so annoying so that's why i would recommend a proper exhaust system for just something as simple as a refined sound with literally zero drone so i would definitely recommend the awe exhaust for the simple fact that it's just a very happy medium it's going to give you that Obviously the jump in performance, but it's gonna give you a little bit of a louder sound But also in a moderate way where it's not over the top I think it's just a very happy medium between Let's say like a full straight pipe or even a muffler delete which can come with some drone But it's in the in between that and then let's say OEM where Let's be let's be real OEM sometimes is very like dull and boring whereas simple exhaust upgrade just adds so much just like scream and power to the car that just makes it so much more of an enjoyable ride so i feel like awe is just like the happy medium with helps with performance especially coupled with a downpipe and a tune as well as just giving you the sound and tone people are looking for with a car with a sport oriented drive and a more performance drive like we're looking for that sound And then like I had mentioned that my favorite part of it is, okay, so it's 40 degrees in New Jersey. It's a pretty chilly one. We got the windows up. I can still hear the exhaust. It still sounds great. The tone is still fantastic, but it's not too loud and overbearing where if I just wanted to enjoy a simple quiet cruise, I can still do that with obviously still enjoying the sound of the exhaust, but it's not over the top. It's not overbearing as let's say a muffler delete can be where when you're in the cabin it's like okay this is like getting annoying because of the drone and whatnot but then it's like if you still want to get on it and jump into some higher rpms you can still hear it very beautifully from the inside of the cabin so it's like the best of both worlds you can hear it scream when you want to and have the windows down and enjoy that nice drive with the great tone or it can be a moderate drive that you can just enjoy a little bit of quiet but still have that ex that exhaust note not be too obnoxious let's say so then overall for the price of the AWE exhaust with the mid pipe the full touring exhaust kit I feel like it's just a very good bang for the buck to just be able to get the entire kit have the car sound way better than it came from factory 
for not really hitting your pockets too hard for a very it's it's hard to say because it's not it's not a conservative sound it's definitely not like a moderate sound but it really is just the best of both worlds where it's not too loud but it's loud enough so for someone like me i don't need to have the loudest car i don't want to have the most obnoxious car yeah granted the cold start and the gts startup roar are a little bit loud but just the overall driving experience the tone and the sound of when you're actually driving the car is definitely just the refined perfection sound that i was looking for so i mean awe claims have like i already said the perfect exhaust note and i would have to second that statement So then moving on into the third thing I absolutely love about this car has honestly got to be just the overall driving experience. So granted, this car has had a lot of modifications done to it to get it to the point where it's at now. Like I said, with the full exhaust, we're running the downpipe, the tune, we have upgraded charge pipes, we have intercooler. We've gone pretty hard with this car and I'm very content and very grateful for where this car is at. But it's just the overall driving experience of these cars it's just an absolute joy to drive every single day so i recently just got a new job which i'll go over in another video i'll definitely make that a topic for another video but so my drive now my job now consists of a 45 minute commute to work every day which isn't really that bad it's not what i'm used to with my previous job which one i was working from home and then when we were in the office it was literally under 10 minutes away but Honestly, for where I'm at with my new job, a 45 minute commute to work in this car is honestly something I look forward to in the mornings. And I know that might be crazy to say, like who, who wakes up and is excited to go to work? I know most people probably aren't. I'm lucky enough to be working a job that I truly do enjoy and love now. But really just to get in my car every single day and know that I'm getting in this car and it's such an enjoyable drive, I truly do enjoy just going to work for the simple pleasure of driving this car. So my morning routine then consists of going to Wawa, grabbing some breakfast and grabbing some lunch. And I think about this a lot where when I walk out of Wawa and I look at all the cars that are packed at in the Wawa parking lot every single morning, I think, if I had my choice to choose any one of these cars in this parking lot, I would choose mine every single time, no matter what. I mean, granted, it's not like there's no like supercars or anything in the parking lot, but I mean, yeah, there's some other Beamers as well. But when I go into the, when I walk out and I think about this, I just, I do think about this a lot. But when I walk out of there every single morning and think about how lucky I am to be able to just drive this car on a daily basis, it just really makes it that much more of the overall driving experience. Just, get in this car on a daily basis and granted i've now owned this car for two years now and for me to be able to two years later still get in this car and just feel an overwhelming joy just to simply drive the car says a lot about the overall driving experience so i mean hey granted they don't call these cars the ultimate driving machine for nothing It just becomes such an enjoyable experience on, on a regular basis, literally a daily basis. Just get in the car and just drive and it just be a sheer joy of just driving. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I just personally very, very much enjoy the simplicity of driving a car, but especially when it's a car like this. It also helps that it's just a lot of fun driving the manual. All right, so the number four, fourth thing I absolutely love about this car has gotta be the steering wheel. So this is a custom steering wheel from Aza Auto Wheel. We are rocking the half leather, half Alcantara steering wheel with the white stitching and the white strip at the top. And honestly, this just adds to like what I was saying with my point number three, with just the overall driving experience. Just like getting into this car and just like feeling the girthiness and the thickness of the steering wheel as also just like the very comfortable and smooth Alcantara suede. It just feels fantastic and it just adds to the whole overall driving experience. So I've absolutely loved this steering wheel from the second I got it. I actually love it so much. I kind of want another one, but at the same time, the Alcantara raced LED display wheel is calling my name. So drop a comment down below. Should we get that LED race display wheel? I've had my eye on that for a while and it's definitely expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. Cause like I've been saying, it's the overall driving experience is enhanced so much, which is the littlest things. So, I mean, granted, steering wheel is not the littlest thing, but it just adds to the overall experience of just like the short, 
the sheer joyness and pleasure of driving these cars as well as it just brings the aesthetic appeal of just a really really nice high quality steering wheel as as Azza Auto Wheel does it right this isn't a knockoff Chinese brand this isn't just some wrap this is a custom handmade steering wheel from all the way overseas they offer international shipping which is fantastic because when I found this company I knew immediately I was going to eventually place an order with them and I'm really glad I did because I've been very very content with this steering wheel it's been it's been a while I've had this for a while and this thing still looks brand spanking new granted I take care of it and I clean it but this thing still just looks fantastic with the stitching is still completely white the Alcantara is not dirty at all like this thing it's very, very high quality, and I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite pieces of the car to take photos of because I just love this steering wheel so freaking much. So then last, but certainly not least, I absolutely love the GTS hood on this car. So as you guys know, some BMWs come with the OEM option for the GTS hood. This car didn't. But it honestly has that OEM Plus look that it could have come from factory just like this. This was one of those mods that it took me a while to pull the trigger on this. I had my eye on this for a while and then when I finally did it, I was just like, wow, I should have did this a long time ago. Like The GTS hood really is just such a game changer with the level of aggression it adds to the car. It's just, it's just so mean. I just love it so much. It's literally one of my favorite things now. So as my fifth thing I absolutely love about this car, it is 100% the GTS hood. We have the carbon fiber vent up here, which matches all the carbon all over the car, the side skirts, these brand new mirror caps from keys motorsports so shout out to keys for these beautiful high quality carbon fiber but this car is truly just coming along so nicely everything matching nice with the fangs the grills the mirror caps the hood the carbon vent for the hood i'm very very content with where this car is right now and i can honestly say i absolutely absolutely love this hood so we'll throw in an honorable mention here. A sixth thing I truly do love about this car is being able to just have the adjustability to control certain functions through, let's say, an app like Beamer Code or an app like Boot Mode. Having to be able to go into an app like Beamer Link and run diagnostics. So having a dongle like this, which is a wireless adapter that is compatible with all these different apps, makes these cars so much more of an enjoyable experience to be able to go in and change certain settings in Beamer Code. Really just bring out just like your own preference, whether it be, you know, a different animation on your head unit or a different animation on your instrument cluster like having the capability through apps like beamer code or even to run diagnostics through beamer link really just make it so much more of just like your own ride to be able to do things on your own but the downside to all these different apps like boot mode and mhd beamer code beamer link x delete all these different apps and and some is there's also plenty of different adapters we had the v peak adapter we had the pro tuning freaks adapter the mhd adapter all these different adapters and enet cables all of a sudden there's just a stockpile full of adapter and enet cable but with the all new keys wi-fi adapter it just makes the simplicity of one adapter it's wireless you can flash wirelessly on the go you can code your car on the go wirelessly from your phone it's just so freaking convenient these things just really just add to the whole experience of owning a bmw because it just really allows you to just do as you please and bring out you know like i said in the beginning i could bring out the m in the m235i with my car which is adding and bringing out the features that are already like let's say with beamer code all of these features are already in the car just being able to go and unlock them in a simple just switching on or off for a lot of the a lot of these different things it just makes it so convenient for us so having an adapter like this which is really just an absolute game changer to be able to wirelessly do all of this right from your phone is just something that just makes me love this car even more all right guys so that's gonna wrap up today's video i appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed it make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to your boy we're almost at a thousand subscribers so we're gonna get there i'm gonna keep pushing we got some great content coming on the two series as well as i haven't even mentioned on this channel i probably have mentioned this on this channel before but haven't really introduced the car we do also have an f30 that i'm looking at right over there so we're gonna have some performance mods coming to that car as well i appreciate you guys watching if you're interested in anything that i talked about in this video links will be down in the description seriously i appreciate you guys watching yeah you yeah you you right there watching i appreciate you guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace